Well, I think first of all, I would say that sustainability is an integral part of our business plan and it needs to be an integral part of our business plan. And in fact, I see growing uh, throughout the country in all businesses and affecting all businesses. And I, I believe you know, what is a main part of what we need to do to sustain our operation indefinitely. Sustainability is an important piece and uh, will continue to be an even more important piece in the future. J.D. Galindo, Sustainability Manager. Lance Atkinson, Pollution Prevention Manager and Green Team Coordinator. John Shogren, Financial Manager. Jess Heisel, Electrical and Water Manager. Kevin Spear, Supply Chain Manager. It was uh, late 2008, early 2009, and our customers started asking questions about the recycled content of our product. And one national customer even developed an audit team to come around and look at the sustainability impacts of our operation. And rather than just answering audit questions, we decided to develop our own program to suit our own needs. And it worked well for us. The first year alone, we saved, uh, we reduced our our uh, waste to the landfill by 55 percent, or about 650 tons. So we had a good impact the first year. We decided to structure our sustainability program so that we could address the immediate needs that we saw when we did our own internal audit with the help of Linger Engineering. Um, we focused primarily on our supplier, uh, the products from our suppliers, the waste to the landfill, and then our energy consumption. As we move forward, though, and as we continue to develop our program and find, a, find out what we were doing well, what we needed to improve upon, we decided to look into the, the DNR's Green Tier program. As we looked into the Green Tier program, we saw that it was very much in line with ISO 14001. When we saw that, we decided to adjust our sustainability program to be more in line with the, the ISO requirements. Uh, as we did that, our program evolved. It turned into basically what we have now is a, a five-pillar program. Uh, energy management, supplier management, uh, pollution prevention, community outreach, and water management. Um, as we've moved and we've progressed and our program has gotten better, uh, it's all been through the help of our associates on the floor who've been a big part of what we've done, uh, the team members that we've put together, and also a lot of outside agencies, such as the DNR, who's been a, a big impact. Uh, the Green Professionals Program has also uh, helped us identify other opportunities outside uh, organizations, such as BT Squared, uh, WMEP, Wisconsin Manufacturers Extension Partnership, have all been an integral part of what we've done in order to bring our program to where it is now. Uh, I think our overall objective is to not only sustain, but event grow our operation indefinitely. What we do for our recycling program here at Cardinal SPIG, we have two, two situations. We have a single sort and a, a white paper office paper. Previously to this, we had nothing. We did not recycle anything. It all went to the landfill. So now, with our single sort pop bottles, tags, different items throughout our production process are used. With white office paper, it is just that, white office paper. Uh, it has managed to reduce, in 2008, our uh, items to the landfill were at 15% shipped out of here. We're down to 6% to the landfill currently, as of January 2012. Over here, we have other recycling options that we use. This is our painting that comes off of different racks. And what we're doing is packaging that up in our silicone barrels which are being reused because it's on our line and we ship that off to be recycled along with all of our cardboard along our facility. This is one of our intermediate collection points. We collect uh, a number of different items inside the plant. We have global garbage, we have a single sort collection point, cardboard and stretch wrap, cardboard cores which are further separated, white paper, and then e-waste. They're all collected in this small area. We have two of these type locations inside our plant, the different ends of our building. Pipes we have overhead are a main artery for our compressed air which circles throughout the plant. Previously we had smaller tubes which uh, fed all the different lines. They went different directions. There was 
more of a spaghetti type setup. This allows us to be more efficient with our compressed air movement. Our temporary furnace produces a, a large amount of hot air. we are able to take a, a fan system, a duct system, pull that hot air out of the, the quench room and distribute it to other areas of our plant to heat the plant uh, during the cold season. Motion sensor 